So yesterday we talked about the director of player personnel giving his opinion on what if Jesse Bates does go ahead and leave for a free agency. Well today we're not talking about just Jesse Bates. We're also talking about Von Bell. And this was asked upon to Lou, the defense coordinator for Cincinnati Bengals. And they asked him, like, what do you think, how do you feel if they both left in free agency? Well, he called it a dark day if both of them did go ahead and leave the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, obviously, we've talked about many times, Jesse Bates most likely will leave. He will most likely go to a team like the Atlanta Falcons, who will pay him the $14 million that he is asking upon uh, for free agency. And he said many times he would love to stay in Cincinnati, but simply cannot leave too much money on the table if they can't offer him what he wants. You know, at the end of the day, he's going to go wherever whoever offers him the most money. At this moment in time, it looks like that might be Atlanta, but there's also rumors that Von Bell might leave. I think Von Bell does stay for a six or seven million dollar contract. But still, again, like I said, there's always a chance that they can't work out a contract with him either. Lou said it would be huge if they kept both of them. Uh, you know the leadership too. Von and Jesse, they do a lot of things that people don't see. You know they organize meetings on their own. So yeah, I'd rather not think about that dark day. Um, as it says right here. Bates most likely will command around $14 million. I think he's around $15, $16 million from the Falcons. And it looks like Von Bell will probably get a contract in the ballpark range of nine to $10 million a year. I think he'll probably get a more not team-friendly discount, but around 6 or 7 to say with the Bengals. Um, since he's entering the good problem to have territory, every contender faces... We'll find out how many of those good problems end up becoming good players throughout this offseason. And to be honest, as I said before, you know, no, it's never easy losing players in the NFL. It's, that's how you keep your team together, right? Is these corner, uh, cornerstone pieces. You have Jesse Bates, Von Bell, Sam Hubbard, uh, Jermaine Pratt. And, of course, um, Trey Hendrickson on defense. And Logan Wilson. Those are the players that make up that Bengals defense. Obviously, Lou is the guy who mastermind the mad scientist, as they call him, who figures things out, puts all the pieces together, and gets everything, you know, correctly in the same orientation. But at the end of the day, you know, Lou can only do so much. He needs the players there to be able to execute the mad scientist stuff that he performs and it's the thing that sucks about football it's the only downside about football i love football more than anything in life but at the end of the day the run downside is there are players who will be leaving this offseason and again they like said you know the ravens we lost cj mosley when we lost cj mosley we lost eric white we lost a lot of players we love terrell suggs t sizzle it hurts, man. It really does. But at the end of the day, you know, they they move on. They get a bet. They're bettering their career. They're bettering their lives. And, you know, new players come in and fill the spots and you figure things out. Now, the good thing about the Bengals is they have Dax Hill to replace him. They have Dax Hill to not replace him, but be able to fill in that spot and hopefully take over eventually as Dax Hill was a first round pick, which, again, like I said, is something of a benefit there, right? You know, a lot of teams, when they lose someone who's a big free agent, they also, you know, they don't have anyone to replace the guy. They don't have anyone to, you know, take over that spot and take over the snaps and take over the, you know, what they need to with losing that key player. But one thing we have not talked about much, and, you know, it's kind of on me a little bit because I should have been talking about this more, but if one, of, one of the commenters down below as you brought this to my attention Compensary picks. What are those, you might be asking? Well, whenever you lose a big-name free agent or big-name player, so whoever it ends up being, um, depending on how good the player is, you get a certain valued pick for that player. So let's say, for example, you lose Jesse Bates, who right now probably is a top 10, top 15 safety in the league. What's going to happen is you're most likely going to get back now because you lose him a second or third round pick. You get a second or third round pick for free 
because you lost a player. So the NFL gives you that pick to compensate you for losing your said player. Probably not a second round pick, but probably an early third round pick. That's the benefit of, you know, losing these players is you not only are you able to, you know, obviously you have to replace the guy, but you get a pick in place for that to, you know, help you out to figure out whatever you want to do next. So if they get a third round pick for losing Jesse Bates. Holy crap. I mean, don't get me wrong. Jesse Bates is amazing. But there's a lot of good safeties in this draft. And you bring back Von Bell and you lose Jesse Bates. But you bring back Von Bell. You got Dax Hill. And then you get a third round pick on top of that that you can now use to potentially be able to, you know, benefit your team even more. See, now you're talking about some actually... The Jesse Bates loss sucks and it's awful, but I mean, you could replace him. You can replace him. It's possible. You're not going to get the same value out of him as you would, but you're going to be able to at least get someone in there to hopefully help you out. And you never know. Third round picks. The Bengals have made a career on taking third round picks and making them absolute gems, making them absolute monsters, right? Developing them into an absolute star player. So we could see a third round pick here. You lose Jesse Bates, you might get someone better in the end. In the end, in the future, you might find someone who's better than Jesse Bates. So I look at this like, again, like I said, you know, every ending has a new beginning, right? And losing Jesse Bates is going to hurt. It's going to be painful. I said this many times, with, again, like I said this again, with C.J. Mosley. When the Ravens lost C.J. Mosley to the Jets because of the contract, it sucked. It really did. You look at it and you're like, wow, we just lost an absolute gem for us. We just lost an absolute star. But you get someone else in there, other players step up, get the job done, and eventually you work out a lot of stuff. For the Ravens, we ended up drafting Patrick Queen. Worked out for us in the end. We also got Roquan Smith now. You know, we also got um, Malik Harrison stepped up for us big time. You know, but again, like I said, it's it's not an overnight process, right? You know, losing Jesse Bates. Let's say you lose Jesse Bates, but then Dax Hill steps up next season, right? I know Coach talked about how, you know, at this moment in time, you know, his role is a backup and he's not the starter yet and he's not going to be a starter at this moment in time until he develops even more. But what if next season, because there's no, you know, Jesse Bates, Dax gets to be able to step up and get better and really show off his potential. I believe Dax Hill is going to be a top 20, top 10 safety in this league when he gets his, when he gets, you know, more play time and he can show up. He's an amazing player. I don't think people realize how good Dax Hill actually is. So I think overall wise, in the end, this could be a hitting blessing. Could be a hitting blessing. And again, you know, I again I have said this many times. Shout out to Jesse Bates. Go get your money. Go, you know, better your career. Obviously, you're not going to be on a good t- on a uh, Super Bowl winning team. You're not going to get a ring, most likely. But you know what? It's okay. It is what it is. He's going to better his career, and he's going to well, better his career financially, not actual-wise. We already know, because the best you can do is Cincinnati. But it is what it is, guys. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.